Yo, what's the good word, y'all? DKB here. So, welcome to New Jersey, New York, whatever your fancy is. This looks like the season where we're going to sign all the offensive tackles that we possibly can because we cannot catch a break. Uh, we have Makai Becton. He comes back. He's looking great. We're seeing highlight clips. Things look amazing. He goes down. We signed Dwayne Brown because we still needed an actual veteran swing tackle backup, depending on how you felt about the rookies this year. Dwayne Brown comes in. We ramp him up. And mysterious shoulder injury. Connor McDermott, much like a handful of these other players, somehow a coaching staff favorite. But if we want to keep it 100, I think you can sign any one of us off the street. And if you gave us 10 opportunities, we'd sack the quarterback at least three times. I, the man is worse than any turnstile I've ever seen. I, I don't know how he's lasted so long with us. And I, I would much rather see absolutely any. I would rather see Denzel Mims line up just to get snaps at left tackle than have to suffer through Connor McDermott once again. But irregardless of all that, the good news is we know that Joe Douglas has been working, uh, I'm assuming Robert Sala as well, to not just settle for what we have on the team. We have continued to try to look for options, and it seems like we are bringing somebody in, uh, albeit it's going to be at least a week before we probably get to realistically see him on the field and tackle Mike Rimmers. He's been on a number of teams, uh, most recently with the Chiefs. I think one of the highlight numbers, though, which I love, is the experience. He's coming into his 10th year. He's had 100 starts, um, 90 in the regular season, 10 in the playoffs. And uh, he's not a world beater, obviously. He would not be available this late in the game. But he has the experience. He has um, a winning pedigree, at least, with the teams that he's been able to go to and perform on. And to be honest, when you actually take a look at the numbers for those that love his statistics, it's not crazy. Uh, a 4.8 pressure percentage, um, meaning that he's above average. I want to say the... the um, I want to say the national average was like 5.4 or something like that. So it's not crazy, but irregardless, he's above average in that aspect. He is a much better pass blocker than a run blocker, which is something I think we desperately need right now. As much as I want to see this run game take off, I don't want to see Zach Wilson return and immediately go back to the bench because he's been laid out. So uh, we get Mike Rimmers, we get his experience, we get his uh, you know pass blocking prowess for whatever that ends up looking like. Uh, but it sounds like the plan is going to be we're going to put him on the practice squad. We're going to catch him up the speed for about a week. Keep him in mind, uh, he's a veteran, so it's not like he needs uh, you know weeks and weeks and weeks of this. Uh, but after about a solid week, he should be suitable enough to suit up for a game for us. But this does mean we most likely are going to be suffering through this Pittsburgh Steelers game with Connor McDermott. And uh, from the numbers that I've seen, when he took over in the second half alone, he gave up five pressures, uh, and we know that he had the sack. Um, so... It, <laughs> I don't know what the game plan is going to be. I think we're going to be utilizing Conklin or, or, or Uzoma quite a bit, uh, maybe even Ruckert, uh, to help him. To be honest, Max Mitchell, he's been getting some support. But if it's a toss-up, make sure Connor McDermott gets that extra assistance because he's definitely going to be the main factor that gets our guy killed. On that note, though, I am glad to at least see the name again. It lets us know that we're not just sitting and waiting for something to happen. We're up in the air on what's going to happen with George Fant. Uh, we know the knee injury is definitely going to be a concern. So maybe the surgery um, and the timetable there was, you know, sped up somehow. Maybe he just wanted to get out on the field and secure a role. Um, and he's trying to fight through these injuries. Either way, he's definitely taken a significant step back from the George Fant that we've seen before. And at this point, I would say is most likely due to injury as well as course all the flip-flopping that was happening uh but having him in the same position on back-to-back -back weeks and then seeing how he was abused um definitely points to it being an injury concern but uh either way let me know what your guys' thoughts are on mike rimmers is it a guy that you would try to thrust into the lineup immediately um to not have to worry about Connor mcdermott or do you think it's a smart play um that we try to slow pace him along so we can at least get the most uh, you know, affecting this out of him as possible. Uh, with that said, I'll catch you guys again. Peace.